hi guys you're welcome back to my channel if you are new here please kindly hit the subscribe button to join the family in today's video i'll be using this my girl's body measurement to teach you guys on how to cut and sew a padded bustier off shoulder gown for a slim person with a smaller bust with this method i'm about to teach you you will be able to sew for different body sizes you also learn how to cut an off shoulder sleeve and many more so this is the ankara print i'll be using for this tutorial i use only two years for the dress the off shoulder dress that i'm making have joining on the waist so i will start with the upper part before proceeding to the lower part i've folded my fabric into two i'll go ahead and mark my starting point because I'm making an off shoulder dress, I'll be removing 5 inches from the starting point line. That's how low I want the off shoulder to be. So from that line, I mark 7.25 to get my chest line. Still on that line, I will mark 9 inches for my boss point. After ruling it out, I will measure from where I place my tape to 12.5 inches for my under boss line. I will measure 15 inches for my half length. I added half inch for joining with the lower part. After ruling the lines out, the next thing now is to mark the nipple to nipple measurement. Her nipple to nipple measurement is 3.5 inches. I added half inch for sewing allowance because I'm marking directly on my fabric. That is 4 inches. I have ruled the line down. The next thing now is to mark my dart intake. On the under bust line, I will measure 1.5 on this side. On the side front, I will mark half inch. To curve my bust here, I will come down by half inch from the bust point and I will connect it this way. Just watch what I'm doing. I will connect this side too. After that, I will be tightening the neck area so that the off shoulder will last well so i will take half half inch on both sides i will connect it to my boss point the way you see me doing please don't make it too curvy i will also curve this side all right that's all so i will now really straight down to the half length can you see what we have there so the next thing now is to input my horizontal measurement on my starting point, I will mark my shoulder width. But because I'm making an off shoulder dress, I will subtract 3 inches from my actual shoulder width. The shoulder width I'm working with is 14 inches. If I subtract 3 inches, I have 11 inches left. Because I folded my fabric into 2, I will mark 5.5 .5 inches. That is 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 .5 inches. So I will replace this 1 inch. I took for my dark intake if you want to be very accurate this is the calculation that you will use on the chest line i place quarter of my round bust measurement i added two inches for sewing allowance and half inch for the dark intake and i've curved my armhole so after that i will mark quarter of my round underbust on the underbust line I will divide it, whatever I get. I will place the measurement and I will add 2 inches for sewing allowance. And I will replace the 2 inches I mark for my dart intake so that I won't rush shortage of fabric. Please don't forget to do that. I've connected it. This is half inch. I replace it also. Please take note of that. So on my waistline, I divided 30 inches by 4. Add 2 inches for sewing allowance. Replace the 2 inches and I will curve it. After that, I will not cut it off the way you see me doing. Okay, I will now show you how I cut my neckline. So I will come down by 2 inches for the neck depth from here i'll connect it it's like sweetheart neckline but it's not that deep you can alter it if you want after covering the neckline i will just trim everything out now 
just follow the lines that you marked and trim everything off the way you see me doing all right i'm done cutting it out can you see what i have here this is for the front part the next thing now is to cut the back part so i'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two after folding it into two i will measure 1.5 inches from the folded edge for my zipper allowance and i will fold it in this way can you see fold it in i will place my tape the same way i did on the front part to get my chest depth line i mark nine inches for my bust points and i will mark my half length i added half inch for joining on the waistline there's no need of marking on that bust point it's not necessary so i've ruled my lines out now the next thing now is to mark my nipple to nipple measurement the same way i did on the front part i will take half half inch on the both side of the line for my that intake on the bust point i will come down by half inch and connect it and on the shoulder i will take 0 0.25 on the bust side please mark 0 0.25 don't use half inch on the next side then i will connect it now the way you see me doing can you see what i have here okay so after that i will place my shoulder i mark 5.5 inches and i will replace the half inch i took for the dart intake i took 0 0.25 on the both sides that is half inch i mark quarter of my rampers on my chest line add my two inches sewing allowance and half inch for that intake i'll curve my armhole after that i will divide my round waist by four i'll 7.5 add sewing allowance and i replace the one inch i took for my dad intake please don't forget to do that can you see that's what i have now i will cut it off the way you see me doing after cutting it off i will or fold my zipper allowance and slash it open slash it open all right for the back neck line i measure down 2.5 inches for my neck depth and i will curve it just watch what i'm doing can you see that's how you will curve your neckline. You can do whatever you want, but this is very perfect. This is very good. So I will now remove the zipper bulge. I will mark half inch for the zipper bulge. And I will slant it this way. Please remember to take off your zipper bulge so that this, if you fix your zip, it will relax very well on your car and it will be well fitted. That's all I have. So I will proceed to cut the skate part. I folded my fabric already. I used the biggest part of my lower part, that is my hip, to determine the amount of fabric I put on fold. I divided my hip by four, add my sewing allowance. In order not to waste your fabric, that's what you will do. To start with, I will be removing the upper part. My half length is 15 inches plus the half inch I added for joining. This is to determine the length of the gown. I have 38. I added 2 inches for sewing allowance. To get my hip depth, I will divide the hip measurement by 4 and minus 1.5 inches. This is the accurate calculation to get it. So from my waist, I came down by 8 inches to mark my hip depth. From the waist, I will measure down 17 inches for my knee length. I will rule it out and this is the full length of the gown so i will place quarter of my round waist here and i will add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance so for my hip i will also place quarter of my round hip add my sewing allowance and i will connect it this way so to mark my round knee i will deduct 8 inches from the 
actual hip circumference whatever i have left i will divide it by four that's how to get your round name if you want your dress to be well fitted and looking very nice on the knee area i also add my sewing allowance of 1.5 inches on the knee line and i will connect it this way to the hemline on the center front i will come down by one inch this is to eliminate the excess folding on the front so that your gown will be very fitted on your body so i've gone ahead to fold my fabric for the back part i place my front part on the fabric that i folded i left two inches for my back zipper allowance i will connect my back part so that i can notch my zipper allowance can you see what i have here okay so i will now dress it out after that i'll be contouring my back hip so i'll take out half inch for the zipper bulge and i will connect it to the hip connect it this way so on the knee line i will also remove half inch and i will cover it this way to get the hip shape in order to get that perfect curve at the back this is how you contour the back so i will now remove the remaining parts because of the slits on the sewing part i'll show you how you sew it i'll cut it up now i will notch my zipper allowance very important see the way i'm cutting out my slit part that's what you will do can you see after that the next thing i will show you now is how to cut your sleeve part as you can see i have folded my fabric and i left 1.5 inches on the upper part this is for my elastic casing my half inch elastic casing after that i will place my tape on the line to remove the five inches i took off for the off shoulder as to determine the length of the sleeve you can use any length you want I make use of what I want. I use 14 inches for the length. This is both sewing allowance included. I will also be putting elastic band on the length of the sleeve. So to get the sleeve head for the off shoulder sleeve, I will be doing some calculation here so that you understand very well. Our round shoulder is 37 inches. If you can remember on the upper part, I took 5.5 .5 inches for the shoulder width. That is 5.5 .5 plus 5.5. .5. I have 11 inches. That is for the front. For the back, I also have 11 inches. If you plus it, it will give you 22 inches. So I will be removing 32 inches from 37. I have 15 inches. Because my fabric is on fold, I will divide 15 inches by 2. 7.5 inches is for one slip and one for the other slip so i will divide the 7.5 inches by 2 to get the actual sleeve head if i divide it i have 3.5 but because of the puff i mark 7.5 inches so i will place my tape on the line and come down by 7 inches for my chest line depth that's where i will be placing my round armhole measurement so i will divide my bust by 6 and add 1.5 inches that's how to get your round armhole if you did not take it on your client i added extra six inches for the puffiness for the fullness of the sleeve you can use whatever you want depending on how puffy you want the sleeve to be you can multiply your round sleeve by three and put it on fold for her i use use 15 inches for her round sleeve because of the puffiness both for the sewing allowance included i will insert my elastic band to gather it i'll just cut it off now after cutting it off i will fold another fabric and place this one on top of it to dress it out i've already cut it out can you see what i have here on the sewing part i'll show you how to sew it I've gone ahead to iron my interface on both my lining and the main fabric. I use Este to iron on it just to give it a little strength. For the lower part, that's the skate part, I've gone ahead to cut my lining. I place my fabric on my lining and cut exactly the same thing. 
I reduced my lining by 2.5 inches or you fold your sewing allowance that you added for your main fabric and cut exactly the same length for your lining. Also do the same thing on the back part. So for the padding now, I'll be using this foam to cut out the pad. I'll just place my center front on the foam, making sure that the underboard is resting on the foam. I'll trace it out the way you see me doing. This is what I have when I was done cutting it out. If you find my video helpful, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like my video. I'll be reducing the foam by one inch so that it doesn't obstruct the neckline when I'm turning it with the lining. After that, I will now cut the side fronts. After folding my foam, I will now place my side front on it and cut it the way you see me doing. So, I'm done cutting it. I cut for the two side fronts. I will now curve it this way. Can you see what I'm doing? I'll cut it off. The width of the foam is 4 inches. So, you make sure that it's 4 inches. I'll confirm the width now. Okay, I have excess. I will trim it off. I will also reduce the upper part by one inch and I will cut it off. Just cut it off very well. Okay, let me confirm what I have. The length is the same thing, seven inches is the length. That's what you will have. Okay. Okay, I will be covering this side now. Cover it just to give it a nice shape. I want to remove the pointy edge. I'll also do the same thing on the down part. Can you see how it looks like? That's how you're supposed to be looking when you are done cutting it. We notch it to indicate the side that I will join it with the center front. Can you see what I have? So I will be using my hair and gum now to iron on it so that it can stick together. I'll do it offline. I'll come back and show you the next thing. So I've done it. Can you see that it has sticked together? So the next thing now is to join it. I will match the center front and the side front together. And I will sew it with half inch. So I will go to my sewing machine now and sew all the pieces together. And come back and show you what you have. So I've sewn it. Can you see what I have? I also do the same thing on my lining, both for the front and back. So I'll push it out now for you to see what I have. Can you see? It came out really nice. The boss came out really nice. That's what you have. So I will iron it very well. I use my Taylor's ham and push the seam out. Open press and iron very well. After that, I will be joining the lower part with the upper part. Fabric to fabric, lining to lining. So I have done it. Can you see how I open press my seam and iron very well? This is my lining. I have sewn it for the back and front. You also iron your lining very well. This is very important so that you achieve a neat finishing. The next thing I will be doing now is to turn the fabric with the lining. So I will place my lining right side facing the right side. I first of all sew the down part. After I was done sewing the down part, this is what I have. I will now fold it this way so that I can achieve a neat hem. Can you see? I will now close the side with 0.25 on the both sides. You can see I did not turn the neck line, both for the front and back. I'll show you how to do that later. So can you see how I sew the back slit? When I turn it to the right side, you see the outcome. Before I turn it to the right side, I will be attaching my strap. So I cut the width of 3 inches. If you fold it, it will be 1.5 inches. I will sew it with half inch. For the length, I use 17 inches. How do you determine the length? If you can remember, we subtracted 5 inches for our off shoulder. So 5 inches for the back and 5 inches for the front. So I added extra 
7 inches for most of the crisscross. I've gone ahead to sew it. I'll use my screwdriver now to turn the loop out. Just push it inside and turn it out. Okay. So I will now insert it on the front part this way. Just put it inside and place it on that line that you join. Don't keep it straight, just bend it a little bit so that if you wear it, it will relax well on your neck. So I've used my pin now to secure it. I also insert this one. Can you see how I place it? I'll now go to my sewing machine and sew it with half inch. After sewing it, I'll give it a good notch. Before you sew, use your pin to hold the neckline round very important so i will turn it to the right side now for you to see what we have make sure you iron very well so for the back part i will notch my slit notch it so that it will relax very well i won't be attaching the stripe now i will show you how you will do that i stitch the neckline down so the next thing i will do now is to attach my zipper can you see what I have on my slate? Very neat. The next thing now is to sew the two back together. I will make sure that the waistline is aligning. Match it together. Measure down 8.5 inches. I will stitch it. That's where my zipper will end. I have stitched it down. Can you see what I have there? So I will pin it now. Can you see the slit? Very neat. So I'll go to my sewing machine now and attach my zip. I will do a detailed tutorial on how to attach an invisible zipper. So I'll go to my sewing machine now and install my zip and come back and show you. Please make sure you use your pin to hold your zip before you sew. This is what I have when I was done attaching the sleeve. Can you see? Everything is looking all nice and neat. So I will be cutting out a back neck facing that I will be using to turn the back neckline. So I will fold a piece of fabric and place my back this way. Make sure you leave 1.5 inches for zipper allowance. I used to fold it. So I will trace the neckline out now. I will now come down by 3 inches to trim it off. I will slash it open. After slashing it open, I will notch the part that I will use to join with the neckline so that it won't get confused. This is how I will join it. Can you see? I will do that later. This is the front. I've ironed it very well. So I'll be closing the two sides now. I'll place front and back together. Make sure that it align. Can you see? Everything is equal. I'll make sure that the front waistline is matching with the back waistline. I'll use my pin to hold it for the both side. So to shape my side now, I will divide the bust by 2. I have 17 inches. So I have 4 inches left. That 4 inches, I will share it on the both side. 2, two inches on the both side. I will do the same thing on the waistline and on the hip line. After marking it, I will follow the line and stitch it on the both side. Make sure you use your pin to secure it before you sew. I will turn it to the right side for you to see the outcome. I have a detailed tutorial on how to shape a dress accurately. It's on my channel. Please do check it out. This is what I have when I was done. Can you see? So the next thing now is to fix the back strap. So I will arrange it very well. Make sure that the strap is not folded, that it's straight. So I will attach it. I will also attach it on the other side. Place it very well on that joining. This joining at the back. Did you see how I place it? I'll pin it and I'll go to my sewing machine and hold it down. Because check your strap whether you position it very well. Check it before you sew your facing so the next thing now is to sew the facing i iron my hard constant on it i folded the down part i will now open my zip match it together just watch what i'm doing 
I'll sew with half inch. I'll also do the same thing on the other side. I've sewn it. Can you see? I will now notch it, cut my zip, turn it now for you to see. Can you see what I have? I'll use my hemming gum or hand needle to stitch it down. You can use hemming gum to iron it down so that the facing will not be moving around. After that, I'll work on the sleeve. On the down part, I will fold my elastic casing. I'll fold half inch and I'll fold it again. I will be inserting my elastic there. I'll just stitch it down and come back and show you. This is the elastic I'll be using. It's a half inch elastic. For the sleeve here, I have 7.5 inches. But I cut elastic band off. For the round sleeve, I cut elastic band off inches her right sleeve is 10 inches i will knot a thread on the elastic and i'll put the needle head inside i'll just drag it out the way you see me doing okay i'll gently pull it out use your office pin to hold it so that it won't go inside i'll continue pulling it out this is the easiest way to and start your elastic can you see i will stitch it down on the both side i will also insert the elastic for the round sleeve i've done that already can you see what i have so the next thing now is, is to attach the sleeve i'll go to my sewing machine now and close the sleeve before i will attach it on the armhole i've sewn it i'll just match the the both same line I will sew it now. That's all. Thanks for watching. This is the outcome of everything. If you find my video helpful, please kindly hit the subscribe button for more interesting videos. And also turn on your notification bell so you get notified once I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.